Hey everybody, I'm starting my first season on the on the new uh, Retro Bowl College game and I am playing as Colorado since they don't give you a lot to choose from so I thought well this is probably the best team I can start with and let's see if I can take Colorado and even more impressive than Deion Sanders let's see if I can go win the national championship. Uh, it'll be pretty hard because we're not starting ranked very high I don't think so let's go ahead and start building our team. We lost our quarterback to the draft I believe. Uh, along with a few other good players. Just take a look. No, we still have a quarterback, so that's good news. And he is not very fast. <laughs> He's not a great quarterback, but I think we might be stuck with him. We need a good wide receiver and a running back and a tight end. Uh, we have a decent amount of money. Oh, we have 51000 It's not a lot. Uh, I really like my wide receivers, so I'm going to go with a really good wide receiver. So we got two good wide receivers now, but that's going to use up most of our money. So we need to be careful here. Uh, we have enough money. We only have 19,000 left. I need a running back and a tight end. Can I get both? I don't know if I can. Uh, there's a $12,000 tight end there. Hmm. I don't think a cheap running back is going to do me any good. So I'm actually going to go with a really the best running back I can afford, which looks like an $18,000 running back. Let's take him. All right. So. That is about the best we're gonna do for now when it comes to our team. Not the best team I've ever seen, but you know, what can we do? All right, let's get started. And I have already edited the uh, uniforms on this save file, so they are accurate now, so that is amazing. So are the names, and we're about to play Colorado State. That just happened in real life not too long ago. So let's get started. Week one, let's take on Colorado State. I think they're the Rams, if I remember correctly. And uh, we are the Buffaloes as Colorado. Alrighty, don't have Deion Sanders here, that's for sure. Or uh, I should say Shadur Sanders as the quarterback. Deion's the coach. And uh, we do have some good players though. Look at that receiver. He is fast. <laughs> and uh, the defense for Colorado State missed a tackle. It should be an easy tackle instead. It's a 66 yard touchdown. That might have been the first play of the game. Maybe the second, I'm not even sure. It just happened so fast. And let's kick the extra point, and it's barely good. It bounces off the upright. And Colorado State is going to take it all the way down the field and score a touchdown. And so we are going to have to respond here. I think I forgot to switch out my punt returner. I always do that. I'm just gonna take the touchback here anyway though, because it's in the end zone. I'm going to probably pass almost every play. That's just kind of my style of playing Retro Bowl. Just way more fun in my opinion. But maybe if I had a good running back, it'd be a little bit different. But I don't exactly have a good running back. And <laughs> touchdown. A 75-yard touchdown. I think that was the first play again. This Colorado State defense can't seem to do anything to stop my receivers. So this might be an easy game. Uh, we'll see if my defense can do anything, though. Uh, it will hold them to a field goal at least. So we have a four point lead with one minute and 48 seconds. That's almost a whole uh, quarter there. Might switch to three minute quarters in the future. I'm not sure. Two minutes is kind of the standard, but three minutes really gives you a good game. I don't know. I think I will, I think I will switch to three minute for the rest of the season. But for this game, we're stuck with two minutes, so let's make the best of it. And there goes my wide receiver again. His stamina is probably not going to be enough for him to get to the end zone. Let's see if he breaks a tackle, though. If he does, yeah, okay, not quite. 57 yards, though, that's still a lot. Uh, our receivers are going to have crazy numbers. And there we go, touchdown. Probably end up losing him in the draft if he's old enough. Oh, I might have missed that one. Oh, I bounced off the other upright. This time it did not go in. So I'll have to go for two to make up for that just because I like those nice even scores. And it looks like they're going to give the ball back in this half, which I didn't think I was going to get it back again in this half. So that's nice. Should be able to score. It's 23 seconds left. I probably should use a timeout there, but I still have both my timeouts now. Uh, I'm going to need a, <laughs> we need a long throw. Can I get it to him? Get it to the receiver. And he's going to get to the 20-yard line, the 10, the 5. And this is going to be a touchdown with four seconds left. Perfect. Not enough time for the other team to score, so let's see if we can get the two points here. Not fast enough to run it in, so I'm going to have to throw it in. Uh, at least my quarterback's not fast enough. I did get a pretty good running back. I need to try him out some. And uh, we're going to get the ball to start the second half, so we can make this lead even uglier. 
Yeah, it's pretty crazy to think about the fact that the Oregon game actually was worse than this because only well, it was the other way around. Colorado was the one getting beat, but uh, in the Oregon game, Colorado only had six points, and uh, we've already let Colorado State get ten points. And I think by halftime, Oregon had thirty-five points, so uh, it was even worse than this game. Here we go. We're down to the twenty-yard line. Fifteen is a broken tackle down to the ten-yard line, and a sixty-eight-yard pass. So uh, things are going really well so far this season. It seems like we are uh, doing what we need to do. But remember, this is dynamic difficulty. Of course, the first game is going to be easy. And we're playing a pretty bad team right now. So uh, just because we win the first game doesn't mean we're getting to the national championship. Because remember, this is not like the NFL game. The NFL game, you can lose five games. You're perfectly fine. Here are the rankings. They're pretty tough, just like real life. If we have two losses, I don't think we're in the top four, especially with our roster. So we... We may even have to go undefeated to get to the national championship. I'm not sure, but definitely not more than one loss. And uh, so that puts a lot of pressure on us, especially with this bad team. Can we do it? Can we get to the national championship? We will find out. My goal is to uh, go undefeated, which would mean we probably, I'm assuming we'd be in the top four if we go undefeated. Uh, my second goal would be if we lose one game, just to somehow make it to this playoffs. I don't, I don't think it'd be possible, but... That would be my goal if we do lose a game. Down to the 30. 15, no, 25, 20, 15, 10. Now that's going to be a touchdown, barely. 51 yards. We are already up to 42 points if I get this extra point, which I, I shouldn't be too uh, confident of. Okay, we got it. 42 to 13. I have a record of... I, I often do really well for a while with extra points, and all of a sudden I'll go through a streak of just missing every single one. So I don't know why that's the case, but it's almost like the... Extra points have dynamic difficulty or something. It's so weird. Down to the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10. This is going to be another touchdown. Was that just one play? I don't even know. It just happened so fast. I can't even keep track. And uh, let's make it 49 points if we can. Did I get it? I think I got it. I got it. So 49 to 13. One minute left. I could turn it over again. They will. So we have a chance to score and make it even a bigger difference i don't know if it helps your ranking or not in this game it'd be kind of cool if it did but i don't know if how much you win by helps or not um if it does then this is uh definitely what we need to do we need to run up the score so that we can be sure to uh get as high a rank as possible because we have to get at least to the number four spot and uh that's going to take a lot of wins i don't even know how many wins that would take we're gonna have to get some wins over some ranked teams which uh, I think USC might be ranked, Oregon might be ranked. If that's the case, then that gives us a chance. Because we will play them since they're in the Pac-12. I love that. I love how the college schedule in here re uh, reflects the real conferences. And we actually get to play teams in those conferences. It's so cool. I don't have to leave out certain teams anymore. I can literally play them all. 56-13. to 13. That was an amazing first game. We are on the right track. Uh, but we all know how this dynamic difficulty works. I, If I remember correctly... I have, I'm currently playing as Texas in my uh, 2023 college football season, and uh, my first game was, oh, 80-something to 7, I think, and uh, the games got much more difficult. It wasn't that easy all season, so. All right, well, I will see you next week when we play Eastern Washington, it looks like. Uh, that should be an easy game from the sound of it. I don't even know what Eastern Washington is, so thank you for watching, and I will see you in week two.